What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get a texture to sit on a more complex surface in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is actually a question I got from a student inside my course, and he's basically having trouble getting a texture to sit on a surface. And so I thought I'd use this fun dog image because uh, we all know I love dogs. And um, we'll use this as an example. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this and first off, I'm going to sample the material and I'm gonna try to apply it to this surface. And notice how that doesn't work very well, right? You're having issues in here on this surface where it's trying to apply it to the individual pieces of geometry and it's not mapping very well. And so there's a few things you can try um, in order to get this to work. So first off, you can try just sampling the material and then double clicking into your object and instead of applying it to the outside of a group, you can just apply that material directly to the surface. So sometimes that'll solve a lot of your issues because the mapping of materials on the outside of groups isn't always is ideal. Now, notice how you're having a problem though, again, in that the tiling is kind of like overlapping these, right? So you're getting some smoother stuff on some faces, but there's still these kind of like ugly seams um, on the sides right here. And so there's a couple ways that we can work around that as well. So first off, another thing that you can try is you can take this texture and you want to double click in here until you get to the raw face that this texture is on, but you can right click on it and click on the option for projected. So what that's, what that's going to do is that's going to change this texture so the SketchUp projects it um, almost like you're using like a, uh, like a light projector or something like that onto this surface. Now, if I resample this material and go back and try to apply this to this surface, notice how it is going to be mapped better. Right? So this is now mapped along the surface and notice how I'm not really getting the seams anymore. However, I still have a little bit of a problem and it may not be a huge problem depending on what you're trying to do, but it's still not necessarily mapped as smoothly as I would like. And so part of the reason for that is because as you get around the edges, right, because it's projecting this outward, it's kind of stretching some of your images. So for your simpler things, this is definitely something that can work. Um, for something that's cylindrical, it might not work as well as something that's kind of like on a single plane that moves up and down. But we're going to try one other thing. And that is one of my favorite things, which is to use an extension. And so this is only going to work on the pro version of SketchUp or on the desktop version of SketchUp. But there's an extension that you can download. I believe this one's still free from the Sketchication warehouse called Fredo Tools. So Fredo Tools has a collection of different tools from Fredo 6 that you can use to do different things in SketchUp. Um, so um, there's a lot of different tools in here. But in this case, I want to select the option for through paint. So through paint is a tool that's basically designed to help you set up the UV mapping of an object inside of SketchUp. And so what I wanna do is I wanna use the option for sample material. So I'm gonna go find this material right here and click on it. And you can see how it tells you that it has it selected. But then I can come over here and look at this object and I can actually apply this. So I'm gonna turn the sample off and then I'm gonna click to paint. Well, notice what that does is that's going to take this texture and it's gonna apply it to the surface right here. And unlike before, I'm not really getting the seam issues that I was getting previously. So that's the first thing is you can use this to do different kinds of mapping. So notice how if I switch the mapping, it's going to apply this a little bit differently. So you might apply all of these depending on what your shape looks like. But in this case, I'm just gonna go with this natural UV right here. Well, the other cool thing about this tool is once it's applied, you can use this little uh, slider right here in order to adjust both the scale of the material as well as the location on the surface. So this gives you full control over the way that your texture is applied to this object. And so most of the time, if you can't get something to map properly, I recommend that you use through paint in order to place it on an object in SketchUp. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. If you do wanna get some more personalized help for SketchUp, I do recommend you check out my course, which I will link to on this page. But in any case, uh, let me know if you have any questions about this video down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.